in this video, I'll be talking about footgear, headgear, and gloves. Walking boots, shoes, and sandals. These need to be tough enough, for the terrain to be traversed. Waterproofing is strongly advisable, especially if the weather is likely to include rain, or snow, or the trail is wet, muddy, or marshy. Options include, walking boots for rocky areas, walking shoes or trainers for paved trails, or, robust walking sandals for hot, dry climates. Many walkers wear walking boots whatever the terrain, for the ankle support. However, boots come in two varieties of ankle support, high top, which provides superior support for ankles, or low top, which is more comfortable. Boots can be heavy, but the thick soles and heels mean you are less likely to twist an ankle when you misstep. Although trainers are lighter, they can be uncomfortable, as the thin soles mean you can feel the ground you walk on. On the other hand, the extra weight of the boots is more tiring. Don't forget to take a spare pair of laces for your walking boots and walking shoes with you on your walking trips. Socks Pay extra attention to the type of socks you use. Ensure there are no irritating seams over the top or to the sides of the toes, as these could rub and cause blisters. Socks help wick moisture away from your feet, offer warmth, and provide a cushion. Avoid cotton, as it retains moisture, and take a spare pair with you, when you go walking. Headgear It is highly recommended to carry with you, some form of headgear, during your walking adventures, such as a peaked hat, balaclava, or bandana. Headgear serves several purposes, cooling when hot, warming when cold, and a shield from the sun. Considering the fact that the majority of heat is lost through the head, headgear is a better insulator, compared to other items, based on weight, and volume comparisons. When your feet are cold, not only is it advisable to put gloves on but also headgear. It may be worth taking more than one form of headgear. The weather conditions, at the start of your walking trip, may be different to that, later during your journey. A hat with a peak can protect you from the sun, wind and rain, particularly if you wear glasses that may become obscured by rain, which is a hazard. A scarf, or neck gaiter, can keep your neck warm. A scarf can also double as headgear. A bandana, or balaclava, is a popular item which can function both as a hat, as a neck warmer, and can also protect your ears. Gloves Thick insulation gloves should be taken, when in cold, and windy climates, and waterproof gloves, should be taken, for wet climates. Thin liner gloves are fine for everyday use, and can also be used inside thicker insulation gloves. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about footgear, headgear, and gloves. In the next video of this series, I talk about the gear you carry. You can see the complete walking equipment checklist, in the description, below the video. Support my channel by subscribing, and stay informed about future videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.